Hi right, everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I was just about to do a review of this issue of Unstoppable Wasp, <laughs> uh, but uh, the trailer for the new Star Wars movie, Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker, just dropped uh, like an, uh, within the hour. So uh, I'm going to do a reaction video. Now people have been telling me I've been doing reaction videos wrong in that I've been watching it and then going back and so I have not seen this at all. I just got done doing some tax form. So let's just get right into this. Although I will have to click on it and stop and then adjust the uh, volume. I like it so far. Dad joke. All right. So um, and people always get bothered when I don't wait. What is the aspect ratio on this? And I'll just do full screen. All right. Okay, so. <laughs> I, know, I know it drives some people insane when I stop every couple seconds, but uh, number one, this will get me like a few more hours before I get demonetized. <laughs> if you just play the whole thing in its entirety, you get instantly demonetized. But one thing I want to talk about right away, and I talk about this in my comic reviews all the time, I am drawn in immediately because I see a character that I've grown to like, not love, but like, especially in the, the second movie she was in. I, I, I liked her character a lot more. She is out of sorts. She is concentrated. Something bad is happening. She's not sure if she can make it. Then you might say, yeah, how can we get all of that from this? Well, body language and acting. That's what I'm getting from. And that's the type of stuff that's very compelling. We don't like Mary Sue characters or Gary Stu. We don't like people who just easily beat everything while being emotionally validated by everyone. By the way, she's in great shape. Just gotta say. <sighs> We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. Okay, so am I crazy or is Mark Hamill hard to understand? I know he's doing the I'm doing serious acting voice, but I think the volume might look I turned it down and it's it's loud, I can hear it, I just can't really understand him. But this is your fight. Okay, so this seems to be, so it says, everyone said trailer and then this said teaser and I'm not quite sure the difference between a teaser and a trailer because it's just, to me, a teaser is like short and this is two minutes long. But um, it's looking to me like this is one of those, we don't want to give away too much, so we're just going to kind of draw it out for you, which at this point with them having, what, like two Star Wars movies every year, I, I just, just cut to it. <laughs> it's called Rise of Skywalker. Are we now saying that Rey is a Skywalker definitively? Or is Luke going to come back to life? Okay, so that was a big build up, and this better this better be the most amazing ship with the most astonishing pilot passenger ever, or it's going to be a big letdown because we're more than almost halfway through this. Okay, so number one, I do not think this is footage is going to be in the movie. This seems to be like made for a commercial footage. Is she going to start Naruto running? Okay, so uh, one of those mini TIE fighters, I don't know what this one is called. Okay, that was a dope move, but OK, 
Okay, so he's he's melding together the uh, helmet he broke in a in a tantrum, and now we're getting like the 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 music swelling. I like these two guys. I like these characters a lot. The ones on screen. I don't care about Kmart R two D two at all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Billy D. Williams, nice. Unfortunately, looking kind of chunky, but that's fine. At least it's the real Billy D. and not that trash ripoff in a romantic relationship with a robot thing they had in Solo, which I generally liked. But I'm really, really glad that Billy D. that when she was in the desert and the ship was coming up, that's what I wanted this to be. Billy D. is a big, big. Big deal in Star Wars. And I think he never, ever gets his due. Because Billy D is the regular guy in the Star Wars series. Yeah, I know he's Mr. Super Cool Gambler, ladies man. But that goes away pretty quickly. And then he does probably the bravest and most badass thing ever. He goes and he's an undercover guard in Jabba's palace for what? six months a year two years that is ballsy especially since he's just kind of a guy he's a good pilot he's not a jedi he's not the quickest draw in the west he does the most amazing badass thing and then he goes and destroys the death star by flying inside of it with no jedi ghost help or anything he's like he's a guy who should get his own movie okay so they say flat out the saga is coming to an end saga 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 um uh but then they they're still pretending that they're gonna give ryan johnson his own trilogy which we all know he's not no no no, he's not. He's not getting his own trilogy. Are you crazy? Um, but uh, I know Disney is just a money-making machine. If you got Disney stock, you love them. Or maybe not. But give it a break. Give it a break. Five, ten years. What have you done? You've done these three uh, episodes, seven, eight, nine. You did Solo. You did Rogue One. Five, year, five movies in... Four years? Chill out. Chill out. Take a break. Wait five. I know you're gonna I know you're doing the Mandalorian. That looks cool. Do the Mandalorian. Have the Mandalorian run for five years. And then come back and do a Clone Wars pre prequel, you know, movie with the with the animated guys running it, whatever, but take a break, take a powder. Don't, don't, I don't want another Star Wars movie coming out next year. I, I don't want it. I don't want it coming out next year, the year after, the year after that. No, 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 no. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, actually. We'll always be with you. All right, so, I don't know, people look cool. I like the, the, the outfits on Poe and Finn. I don't know. <laughs> There's been like a million Star Wars movies. They're not that exciting anymore. Uh, oh, shattered part of the Death Star. That's cool. What? So wait, the Death Star, it was blown up near Endor. Well, no, I mean, obviously the first one is just blown up uh, uh, by Yavin. Was it? Yeah, yeah, Yavin. That was the only planet or moon nearby. So, I mean, Yavin, we look, it looked like South America. Endor looked like Northern California. This, I don't know. I know planets don't have, this, have the same, you know, what do you call it? Zones? Climate zones? You could have them change. I don't know. This is cool. What could be there? Oh! I, I oh wait, no. I know it could be there. The Emperor's corpse could be there. Um, uh, Darth Vader was obviously taken out, but I think his helmet was left there. So, all right, yeah, that's cool. I'm down. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> uh, 
Emperor, you got me. I mean, I was already going to see it, but you got me. Now I'm not just going to get it over with. Now I'm excited. The Emperor, yes. Yes. Rise of Skywalker. I don't know what that means. Well, oh, okay, okay, so, yeah, obviously, duh. I forgot. W wait, it was, it's, it was Ben Solo, right? What is the guy with the big nose and the, the, the square rib cage? Kylo Ren. He was Kylo Ren and he was Ben Solo, but he is a Skywalker, right? I'm fine with Rey not being a Skywalker. So who's the rise of Skywalker? Luke's going to come back? Darth Vader's going to come back? Something. That's good, that's good. An Emperor Palpatine? Come on, come on. I love how Red Letter Media always talks about how Palpatine is the happiest person who's ever lived. <laughs> There's a great bit, it's a great bit they do in one of their reviews where they're like, he's evil and he loves it. All right, yeah, yeah, let's do this thing. Yeah, let's go. All right, everyone freaks out that I have autoplay engaged. Autoplay is very, very controversial. Let's see, what are my suggestions here? Portlandia, Honest Trailers, eh, Star Wars stuff, Avengers Infinity War, I, would, I, I watched that review. Something canceled, oh, there's Rakeda Law. I'm pretty sure I already watched that Michael Bay one. Vincent D'Onofrio interview, man. Anyway, so uh, thanks for, uh, how do I get out of this? Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so just to reiterate, you know, I grew up in the 70s, 80s. Obviously, I loved the original trilogy. Uh, the prequels, I liked them more as they went along. I loved the Clone Wars 3D animated series. Uh, Force Awakens was okay. Rogue One was really good. I actually liked Solo. Uh, Last Jedi, I liked the first time, and then every time I've tried to watch it afterwards, I just find it really excruciating, mainly for the po political correctness. Like, there's so, it's so, like, every shot of every soldier on the good guy and bad guy side has to be, like, different gender, different race for every single one. It's like, there's, like, all these, like, 50-year-old women on both sides fighting. It's like, okay, come on. I We understand you're being politically correct, but... Most soldiers are men. This is, the bulk of the soldiers should be men. It doesn't make sense. Um, but uh, uh, I'm really, really interested in one. I, 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 I didn't like Ray in the first movie. I liked her in the second one. I'm not that into Kylo Ren. They barely even showed him here. I really like Poe and Finn. Have a lot more small unit action with Poe and Finn on the ground being soldiers. Yeah, I know one's a pilot. You know what I mean. Um, but... Uh, yeah, and then the, the Death Star thing and Billy D. Williams and Palpatine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I kind of felt like they should have left out Princess Leia. Um, Carrie Fisher was obviously dying while filming uh, Last Jedi. And it just, I, mean, I, I don't know if I would call it poor taste. They had a scene that would obviously have been a death scene when she got blown out in space. They should have made that her death scene. Um, but um, I, I don't want to see you know, sad, awkward, dying Carrie Fisher scenes or 3D animation. Oh. But um, yeah, uh, I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to it. I really want to know what's up with Palpatine. I want to know why it's called Rise of Skywalker. I do not want Rey to be a Skywalker. I'm not really interested in a Kylo Ren redemption arc. Honestly, bring Luke or uh, Luke or uh, Darth Vader back to life. Uh, but, uh, they don't really have much of a family. Well, I mean, Shmi, Shmi Skywalker. You're going to bring Shmi? Shmi powers? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the uh, GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. And I'll have uh, a new comic review up later today. Thanks. Bye.